Now I'm going to go through the CUSS acronym with a few basic tools that you'll be using at most of your volunteer events so you can see an example of a safety talk for different tools. So I'm going to speak as though I'm addressing volunteers standing in front of me. These are loppers, and loppers are used for cutting blackberry canes or larger English ivy vines. One thing we want to think about whenever we're using loppers is the rule of thumb. So anything that we cut with the loppers needs to be smaller than the size of our thumb. And if you are going to be cutting something that is larger than your thumb, then a handsaw is the tool for you. When we're using loppers, we're going to open them up using both hands on the handles and close them, just a really basic method of shutting them. And we're going to make sure that we don't wobble the handles back and forth because that can cause the tool to break. When we're not using the loppers, when we're standing and holding them, we're going to put our outer hand on the lower handle and tuck the tool near our side so that the upper handle is towards our armpit. The point or the blade of the lopper should be facing forward and slightly towards the ground. When we're not holding or walking with the loppers and we want to set them down, we're going to go ahead and place them flat on the ground. It's really important to check to make sure that you're not taking the loppers and shoving them into soft dirt because that can make the blade of the loppers um, get dull and then we aren't able to use them for our restoration events for as long as we would if they were sharp. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that um, thinking about the rule of thumb whenever we are using our loppers is we want to only have things that we're intending to cut near the blades of the loppers. So that means that we don't want any fingers or pants or loose clothing near. We only want to be cutting the vegetation that we're intending to cut whenever we use them. The next tool we're going to talk about is the shovel. And I'm sure most of you have used a shovel at home, but we're still going to go over how to use it because we have some specific ways that we use the shovel whenever we're at restoration events. So the shovel is for digging and small cutting actions down low by your knees. So whenever we're using a shovel for cutting, we want to place one hand towards the top and one hand on the middle of the shovel handle. And if we need some help sticking the spade in, we're going to use just one foot on the edge. A shovel's not a pogo stick, and if you do try to use one like it, you'll probably just fall right over. And that's not fun for anyone. So we use one foot to push the shovel in. And be sure that whenever you're lifting dirt up, you're not flinging it. You can just set it right next to you. Um, when you're using the shovel in a cutting motion, you're going to want to use both hands close together on the handle and just use little action. So the shovel should only come about six inches off the ground and head straight down. As a safety thought around the shovel, the, the tip of the shovel is sharp and the edges are sharp. And so we want to make sure that at all times, whether we're using the shovel or we're holding the shovel, the base of the shovel should always stay at our knee level or below and the tip of the shovel should always be pointed towards the ground. So when we are carrying the shovel, whether we're standing or we're walking, we're going to use one or two hands and carry the shovel to our sides. Again, thinking about the tip of that shovel being at our knee level or below. And when we're walking, we're just going to want to hold it out to the side with the tip pointed down. When we're not using or carrying the shovel, the proper way to put it on the ground is tip first and then lay it flat. And we do this because cartoons do mimic real life. If the shovel is flipped over and the tip is pointing up and someone steps on it, it will lean up and smack you in the face. A good way when you're working with kids to have them think about this is you can just ask them, have you cartoon proofed your shovel when you set it down? And that is the two basic lopper and shovel safety.